another something old something new challenge showcase this one today is by paul demieux it is the kung fu panda park uh, i believe cold sore you said that this was initially built for uh maddie's uh hollywood park uh contest that he did right it is okay very nice very nice man uh and uh as you all see here i am joined by cold sore again uh welcome cold sore and uh, we also have four blocks in the house. Welcome, uh, four blocks. <laughs> what up, what up? Take a little peek around. I'm excited for this, man. I, I, not gonna lie, I don't remember a whole lot about Kung Fu Panda, so you guys might have to carry me through this one a bit as far as character names and uh, whatnot, because we're already seeing some here. I, I might not remember. Either. It's been a while. But looking at that, look, go back to that white, that white figure right there. Yeah, like a stub. Oh, oh there we it's... go. It's the goat. Yeah, the goat. Yep. We know it's a goat. <laughs> it's like oh, the hope. master goat or grandmaster goat or something. It's been a while, but I think that's what it is. You're doing better than me. I, I have I have hardly any recollection here. So, uh, yeah. Got another little character. I mean, they're, they're creative characters. Whether I understand uh... all of them or not, they're very creative. Uh, Paul Demieux, man, he's he's well known for doing being able to do some of these like uh, 3D art characters, like it, a community wide. Everybody knows like he just excels in this stuff, so it's super cool. Yeah, man, I like the little entryway here. We'll go off to the right side and see what's over. All right, over to the right side here of our entryway. We're gonna go across this little bridge we got. I see uh, some kind of like a, like a rabbit. Yeah. There's some puffy cheeks. Big old chonker cheeks. Chonk. We dig it. Got another little character down here in the uh, in the boat. Let's go take a look. I love the custom work that's been done here, man. These are so cool. Like even even the little boat with the uh, the little hood over it there, like the the sunshade. He is using a lot of little. Uh, as small as you can go as far as custom pieces to put together how well these uh, characters are uh, articulated so that's that's pretty cool so yeah far, they definitely they definitely are well developed very well done uh we're gonna get into the entrance of the actual park here and uh take a look around see what we got all right and jack, just here jack at the Black. entrance we got Jack, yeah, Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Black, everybody. Here we got our information center over that way. Got another one here, your first aid center as well. Got Poe over here, what's he got to say? There's nothing a little healing kung fu can't fix. All right, I dig it. Is that a really custom well dragon? Uh, yeah, I, I want to say yeah. Oh my lord. I mean, if you know Paul in the community, man, this guy does a lot of custom work, so. Mr. Ping! <laughs> it is <Yeah>. Mr. Ping noodles. <laughs> Usage of the Asian stuff, the theming and everything. Nice. Oh, that that's great, man. That's yeah. honestly great. Uh -huh. oh yeah, this God. is fantastic. It's it's wild to think that I've been doing these spotlights and and watching people's spotlights when I'm able to and stuff that I've somehow just not truly seen a proper Paul build until like relatively recently and and I'm just like how have I not seen this guy's stuff before like this is this is crazy. I think you mentioned like yeah pub publicly that he was like always like kind of on the side skirts didn't really want to speak up and then finally decided hey you know what what the heck i'm gonna start chiming in and getting involved a little bit more and i'm glad he did yeah absolutely man like i'm i'm gonna really like go back and go through and spotlight some other stuff you got at some point like check out what you can do because uh a lot of these custom piece builds that you're doing here man i just wow I, I don't understand them. I'm not good at them. So, like, if, if you're good at them at all, I'm just awestruck by it. Okay, I think I've seen this. We're going to hop on this thing, actually. We'll take a little look around on it. Here we are on the Sky Tower. It's probably not what it's called. I'm going to get chewed out in the comments, but hey, whatever. Uh, who cares, man? Look at this beautiful view. Wow. Wow. 
All those Ten custom out. dragons. Mm. Yeah, super cool, man. I don't even mind just letting it kind of float around up here for just a little second like this and just look at the entirety of everything. Then we'll hop back down to ground level and continue on. Definitely a good view. Yeah. Park here and see what we got. Let's see, we got a sign here. Let's see. Uh, we got Taijutu Plaza. Probably said that wrong. Crane Spin, Revenge of the Foes, Flight of the Dragon Warrior. All right, so we got a lot going on. Got a busy shop yeah, up here. Yeah, kind of a play on the movie, I think. A couple of those recognize. Kai's oh, I Caffeine. That guy. I'm assuming this is Kai. Oh, wow. Look at that, though. Yeah. That was really well designed. Like, what pieces is he detail. using right here? Yeah. I'm assuming these are just basic shapes. I don't want to tear them apart in the spotlight, uh, cause just because no. I haven't done that with anybody else's up to this point, but I'm assuming basic shapes. Maybe. Like, you can articulate, though. Like, hmm. There's some small pieces there. That's hard to pull off, though, in, in Planet Coaster. Definitely is. Found a uh, statue here of Master Ugwe. Uh, we got one often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. Okay, very interesting. So maybe the uh, the path that you're trying to not go down is the one that you should be. Hmm. Wise words from a turtle. That is some He's deep, the master. It's deep words from a turtle. I'm actually going to make our way this way and then forward. Uh, I think we'll take a look. See what's going on over here. Looks like maybe the building's like under attack here. Looks like we've got like rocks like flying at the building. I, as I look around, it's like maybe he's like creating a some kind of a battle from the movie going on within the park. Yeah, you see like the breaking glass. Yeah, so, yeah. It's been a while, but yeah, there's a scene where they attack. Okay, yeah, I really like that. I was able to, like, pick up on that the more I started looking around. Yeah, you've got the little spot there. You crashed into the oh, roof. Wow. Crane's tornado that, that spin. That is accurate. That is pretty accurate from the movie, movie from what I recall. Oh, it's, it's also been a while for me. Here we go, Crane's tornado. So look at this thing. Wow. Everywhere you turn on all this park, you <laughs> just custom, like... The pigs, man, are so funny. Like, they're hilarious. Like, so well done. I, I, I love this. A little tornado. I, I, I love this look of the tornado mm -hmm. combination. Oh, that guy. I forget his name. Yeah, that is, yeah. I mean, just absolutely spectacular. This thing is so cool. I mean, this pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the creativity in this park, man, is just outstanding. I love it. I love it. We're going to move on to another area and see what else we got here. There from the tornado spin ride. Make our way back up here a little deeper into the park and see what else we got. We got Revenge of the Foes starring Lord Shen, Tai Lung, and General Kai. All right. Hell yeah. Nice little custom uh, sign there. Like, like three uh, different types of animal claws, paws, or hands, or whatever, kind of holding up the swords. I'll we'll take a look at this thing. It looks like maybe a, maybe a coaster up here. We got Poe. So many <laughs> stairs. <laughs> he even looks That's... sad. Like, he's even made oh, him yeah. look upset. Straight up from the movie right there is tiresome oh, walking up the stairs. He's even... <laughs> there you He's go. He's crying too. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna awesome. slow zoom in on that. He is. He is done for. I mean, look uh, at the detail on that thing, though. Like, just uh, wild. Yeah, no, the, the detail and accuracy to the movie is <laughs> so amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not a coaster. We're going to get a ride on this thing. I mean, look at how well themed out this is. We're going to get a ride on this one. Hashtag yeah, justice for flat rides. Here we go, everybody. I had to get on this one. Oh, they even... He, there's even music. There's just so much happening. So many different characters. 
Got some different the effects going of, off. The awkwardness of sitting next to a stranger. Ah, uh, you know. What's up, girl? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> But no, this is this is seriously just so unique. Uh, I really, really like this, man. This is super cool. We're gonna get on to the next thing, but yeah, a lot of fun on this. Yeah, this is definitely an iconic. We're at Chai Du Tai Tap. <laughs> right, y'all. Here we are at Chai Du Tu Plaza, and we are going right on in here. Uh, looks like we got Poe up on the stage, maybe uh playing playing a guitar or something here. All right. Yeah. Oh. I feel like there's so many scenes I don't remember that I should. Look I it on the. Don't remember this. Look it on the drum kit over there too. He's got mm. the yin yang. Dynasty drummers. On the drum kick there, there's a yin yang on the front of the. There. That's oh, awesome. That's what he's that's got. Some... Mm. What is... he's made some kind of a bug playing the drums back here. I Rocking think it's out. supposed to be mantis. Yep. Okay. Maybe. Got Crane back here. He's in his beak to play the keys. This is absolutely no. wild. Taking the time to do this, snake. man. Uh, you gotta give really Paul credit. Design, mm -hmm. but where's the tip hat? Yeah, you gotta get your money hat out there, right? Suitcase. Uh, Master hat, Crane, something. we need your hat. Yeah, throw it out there. <laughs> I'd throw in on it. Food and drinks. Maybe stop and get some more noodles. Gotta have noodles, man. If you come here and don't have some noodles, what are you doing? Mm. Awesome little plaza, man. I absolutely love that spot. We're gonna keep going on back here to this coaster. Up the queue here to Flight of the Dragon Warrior. Post says, you want to experience this coaster like a true dragon warrior? Oh, of course I do. I mean, I'm not gonna come here and be like a half-assed dragon warrior. First, you've got to learn a few important lessons, like the Furious Five did. To become a great warrior, you need... Yes, please tell me. Seriousness. Self-control. Um, That's the wrong crowd here, then. I'm working on it. <laughs> um, okay. I, we, we could still do this, guys. We could still become Dragon Warriors. Tolerance. I, I'm pretty good at that. I, I don't have that anymore. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> well, that's enough lessons. For, I think that was four. What did I miss? I missed something. I need to know all the lessons, or I, I'm not going to succeed. I think you already failed. I, I think oh. it's further up, maybe. No, it's not. Look at this dragon. What, what's the fifth lesson? I, I might have to go back in a second and see if we missed something here. Here, uh, don't don't leave the station just yet. We're going to hop on there. Maybe we'll learn it on the coaster. Who needs track supports when you've got the magic of kung fu to make things float? I don't know if I trust that, uh, but as a spotlighter here in this park, I don't have a choice. So we'll see you guys on the ride. Hello, everybody. We are going to become Dragon Warriors. We'll catch you at the end of the ride once we are all trained up and have defeated our mortal enemy.
Holy cow, man. All right, let's let's hop off this thing and talk about it. There's a lot going on. We're going to have you start off on this one, man. What was your what was your take? There was a lot to take in here, man. The elevation, everything that he did on the terrain and going up through the mountains. And then um, I'm obviously going to have to point out, like, you, most of these dragons that you're seeing throughout that are themed out are totally custom made. And I'm... I, I'm blown away by the way that he has done this stuff. I know uh, that it happens often with me, like being blown away by people's creations. But we have some great creators, and, and with Paul, there's no exception here. But the, to go the extra mile with the creations, and then uh, writing that he's very—he um, did something where, like, he was very calculated with the way that he rode that he designed the coaster coming back up through a dragon's ass out of its uh, almost mouth right there. Very I, I saw that, yeah. We went we yeah. went straight up its pooper and, and uh, continued yeah. our journey. It made me a little uncomfortable, uh -huh. but I mean, hey, you know. That was... Magic of Kung uh, Fu. Cl yeah, climatic, you know. <laughs> this guy over here looking all suspect. Like, what is going on? Out? What's he looking at here? Yeah, he's concerned, man. Maybe going through the dragon was the fifth lesson that we mm. really needed to experience. Oh, yeah, there that you go. Be it. There's just so many of them. The I mean, look warrior. at these. Um, every angle you came through, like, each each individual dragon was a different, like, kind of themed out dragon. Like, the ice dragon, and then, like, the earthy one, and, like, all the pieces it takes. Look at that, you know? Like, it's just crazy. Yeah. No, these are just absolutely awesome, man. We're going to get down at ground level here paul absolutely stellar ride man i really enjoyed this the characters everything leading up through here uh we're gonna move around the park a little more see what else we got paul absolutely awesome job here we're gonna get a pan around of this real quick uh and then when i pass it off here we'll do a night shot as well but just stellar job with this man i uh wish that i remembered a little bit more about the movies than what i do so that I could have a little bit more input on the actual characters and kind of, you know, motives of the of the storyline here. Uh, but still, man, just well enough, it, it's been pulled off in a way that I understand what's happening. I understand that there's a battle going on. And uh, just every single custom character in here is just painstakingly done. You can tell the amount of time that you put into this stuff. Uh, and I just thoroughly enjoy this, man. So I'm going to pass it off to Cold Sore. What do you think, man? Uh... If you're, uh, uh, regardless of the host here, forgetting a lot about the movie, people that know Kung Fu Panda, I guarantee are going to recognize a lot of what uh, is going on here, Thamey wise his characters and everything. I knew, I recognize a couple of them. It's been a while. But the details he puts into his characters, again, just throw it back again. Like, Paul does a great job with, like, utilizing the small pieces to create these custom characters, dragons, small characters, doesn't matter. Um, the thought he put into the park, the layout, and then to capture the whole feel of the movie, I thought was stellar, and uh, don't really know what else to say besides a uh, great job, Paul. Yeah, definitely agree. And honestly, my opinions on the map, looking at this right now at nighttime, it has really great lighting, and it looks really beautiful with all of the colors and the different themes going on here. I love the consistency that you have throughout the map with each little different design, even with the characters and the buildings and just everything in general. It all looks fantastic. Yeah, man, I, I definitely agree. Uh, Paul, this has been so much fun to look at, man. I really appreciate you uh, taking part in this and entering this. Uh, I hope that you do more of these in the future uh, with us here on the channel, and I will keep an eye out for your work elsewhere as well. We're going to keep it going on to the next one, guys. Stay tuned for another spotlight coming at you guys here very shortly. Thank you all so much, and have a great night.